Wow, live. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is Nashi Mukhtar, and you're watching the Business Excellence Show. And today with me is Fleming Grunfeld, and we're going to talk about something which is really important, something that determines the life and the operations and the actions of corporate and its people. Good morning, Fleming. How are you? Actually, very good right now. I just I just met a girl on the street. I was doing my exercises, all that kind of stuff, and she had a book. She was walking and reading her book. Wow, ah, and that's amazing. amazing. That's a long time since I'm seeing that, and 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 say, wow, there's still hope for humanity. We still read books. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good morning, I mean, everybody. <laughs> And uh, not Happy New Year, I can say that. I hope you had a great yeah, holiday and great that. Christmas <laughs> and had relaxed and, and, and a full of energy. I did. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> That's a lie. All right. So good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to have you with me. Uh, before we start off with our discussion about leadership and who leaders are and what kind of leaders do we need at the moment in, in this uh, point in time, before we go ahead with that, I would like to say that I'm very glad to have you with me today. You are definitely encouraged to ask us questions while we are discussing. Do participate because this show is exclusively for you only. We are here to talk with you. So your participation is a must and we wait for it. All right. So Fleming, tell me the first thing first. What is leadership? Why do we need leaders? Why should there be leaders at all? Why we cannot do without them? <laughs> what is leaders? Uh, I actually wrote a post on, on LinkedIn mm -hmm. where, where, where leaders are people who create followers. Leaders, that's what of John Maxwell is saying, but those are people who actually maximize efforts mm -hmm. and, and, and towards reaching a goal. Okay, so, so leaders maximize effort towards reaching goals. Create followers, yes. I think I, that, that, that's quite a definition. Um, and, and, and why do we have leaders and not managers? Are there a difference? I could ask the questions to the audience. Managers and leaders, are there a difference? So Anybody you have to, to tell answer? us, is there a difference in leaders and managers? I think there is one. There is. So let's see, Vajamat yeah. Saeed, what do you think? Walaikum assalam, and it's very good to have you with us. Do you think managers are different from leaders? Yes. Let's see what answers do we get. So what's the difference in a manager and a leader? We are waiting for your responses here in comments. Okay. We need to revise question how we can find leadership skills in everyone. Sure, we will answer this question, Said Muhammad Raziola. Of course, we will yeah. do that. But of first course. come first, my question is, what's the difference in a leader and a manager? So we have to answer this before we move on. And I'm waiting for your comments and your responses. Do let me know what do you think and who do you think a leader is? Faisal says leaders are trendsetters, where managers are just managing tasks. All right. What wow. do you think about this, Fleming? I love that because that was yeah. that was close to my definition, or maybe it is my definition, because a manager organized mm -hmm. where a leader is the trendsetter. I love it. A leader got loyalty. People mm -hmm. want to follow. People are not obliged to follow. They really yeah. want to follow because the leader got the trust, and the trust is so important. It moves everything. The leader builds relationship. You can say a leader, you can say people don't care how much people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yeah. So a leader got care, he got relationships, he got expertise, he got consistency. And and and, and he's the one who's moving first. Exactly. We have more answers. So let's see what more people are saying. Shafakat Rasul says, managers just complete their task in short-term vision. And leaders make a team and have long-term vision. Wow. I love this. This is the difference between efficiency and effectiveness. Mm. 
Effectiveness is doing the right things right. Efficiency is just doing things right. Yeah, absolutely. But the right things right, that's effectiveness. So that's long-term sustainable goals. Exactly. That's direction. That's the, the helicopter view. That, that's up here and, and, and focusing on the vision, the mission, the yeah. value. The right where, where, where you can say a manager, efficiency, he got, he just got one jigsaw puzzle. He needs to focus on nothing more. Yeah. And, and then that may not move the company at all. At all. True. Very true. So long-term vision matters a lot. We have another answer that. from, from one, another of our friends. Sayyid Muhammad Razila says, manager is task-oriented and leaders Absolutely. show path with example. Absolutely. So Absolutely. leaders set examples. Yeah, you can say that that we want to, to climb this mountain one day. Mm -hmm. Or who is coming first to the top? If you beat me, I'll give pizza. <laughs> That's that could be the difference. Can you follow? That could what be I'm the saying? difference, yeah. Because there is motivation. They set up goals and then motivate the people to achieve them and then set up um let's say milestones for people so that they yes. have a consistent sense of achievement absolutely absolutely so i can see that we got very very intelligent people here of course <laughs> we have one more response from sagar he says leaders have people follow them while manager have people to work for them yes yes, yes. like you said they make followers they they make followers they have loyalty they they care for the people the, the leader is the one who's standing in front every time we are facing you can say challenges trouble and every time the client comes back and say wow you did an amazing job he said don't go don't thank me go to peter paul sagar asif and tell them directly exactly. it's there they did it yeah so asif says leaders have direction while managers yes. don't have now yes. what do we say about this that's where we are again talking about the single jigsaw puzzle. Um, the manager is focusing on efficiency. That uh, it could be we had the COVID. Okay, fine. What do we do? We need to reduce costs. We are firing all our employees. Is that a good solution? <laughs> no, because most key account managers is 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 engaged or not engaged, but they are connected to their clients. So in the moment they fire them and they may be rehired in a new in another company, they just yeah. take their client with them. That's happened when I was working in the bank. Every time I shifted, you know, the name on the top of the building, all my all my clients followed me. They were not connected to the to the brand. They were connected to me. To the person. Yes. So 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 that's the risk of firing people. You're also losing clients and customers. Yeah, we have another input from Sagar. He says leaders create a vision and managers create goal. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, that's again uh, the same, uh, the single jigsaw puzzle, efficiency and effectiveness, the vision, the mission, the values, the culture, the well-being, the happiness in the organization. Exactly, very true. So Zarina says managers relate to people according to the role they play in a sequence of events or in a decision making process, while leaders who are concerned with ideas relate in more intuitive and empathetic ways. I Empathy, intuition. Absolutely. I, I love this. That, that's where we have the intuition. We have the creativity. We have the flexibility. A leader see more and he see before others and innovation especially here in Dubai in an innovation hub. We need to see more we need to see before. Mm. We need to make the direction. So so I can only agree on, on all the people saying what they are saying. Yes, yes, yes. So Zarina is adding more input. She says the difference between being a leader and a manager is that people follow leaders, while managers have people who work for them. All yes. of this comes down to three areas, motivation, vision, and communication. Yes. yes, absolutely true, Zarina. We agree with you 100%. Absolutely. 
And like Ikut Rahman says, leaders provide environment for fellow peers to grow. So growth Absolutely. is integral. So, so we can say in, in an environment with a leader, we got the trust established. We, we, we got permission from people to lead. We got uh, consistency. We got yeah. responsibility. We got okay. empowerment. We got delegation. And that's actually where most, pe most people go wrong as, as, as managers, because they think they delegate but they have forgotten one word, delegate with authority. authority you can yeah. delegate, but if you get, don't give the authority, you actually didn't delegate. Mm. And then you have creativity, flexibility, innovation. Mm. Then your, your, your employees are flourishing. They are blooming. They're blooming, of course, yes. So about growth processes and blooming, one comment from Sagar is that leaders coach and managers direct. Yes, leaders coach. And, 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 and now we're touching the essential here because we have five levels of leadership. We have the position, we have the permission, we have the result, we have people development. People mm. development, that's the fourth level. That's where we all want to be. Mm. Leaders coach, people development. Yes. Yes. And then we have Pinnacle, which is enlightenment, and that's Shikside area. That mm. is Nelson Mandela. That mm -hmm. is, you have many, or not many of these people, but, but those are the people up here who really want to, to grow and unlock potential in their True. nation. Yes, yes. Okay, one more point. Before we move on towards our regular discussion, I want to show everybody's comments because they are amazing and I am very happy to have responses from so many of you. So Shah Ali Bukhari says, leader and manager are sometimes used interchangeably, but leaders are born inspirers, born inspirers, and managers are prepared, trained to lead and guide others. What do you have to say about being born inspirer? No leaders are born. This is interesting. I have not seen a born leader yet. You sure about that? Yes. We all have many talents, but we can all reach level enlightenment, level five or mm -hmm. level four. It's a choice. It's a decision. Okay. No leaders are born, in my opinion. I don't believe that. Mm. We all have, it doesn't matter where you're born. If I'm looking at myself, if you're looking at yourself, you're a leader today. You're, you're born in India, is that right? Or No, in Pakistan. Fleming! Yeah, so sorry. But you're born in Pakistan. And if you're looking what you did, you're, what you're doing today, did you know okay. that when you were born? No, not at all. I didn't know no. about this even uh, 10 years back. Okay. Absolutely. I was 10 years ago, if I'm looking 10 years ago, I was fired. I was a manager uh -huh. or a boss in a bank controlling manipulating my employees that was mm -hmm. 10 years ago and why then you said I ended up in, what why you said manipulating like this <laughs> because i was manipulated okay that's that, that and, and now you're touching something manipulation is that good or bad uh you i would i would prefer sim, stimulating mm -hmm. that's a positive word in my opinion manipulating is doing something to get other people do something. Okay. It's a carrot and a stick. Mm -hmm. where, where, where stimulation is growing people, unlocking potential. That's what I've been doing for 10 years. But I've met so, so many potential leaders. But I don't believe that people, uh, that leaders are born. I believe that we grow. We grow with time. We grow into leaders. Yeah. Okay, we have a very big comment, so I will quickly read it and then we will move on. Uh, Zarina added, managers and leaders are not automatically one and the same, but managers have the ability to become good leaders. Absolutely. So we will talk about the evolution of a leader, Fleming, in detail. Yes. Communicating well and celebrating team differences are among the ways to embrace your natural leadership skills. Now, natural leadership skills is yes. something that we need to discuss as well. So leaders Absolutely. have several positive traits, such as resilience, integrity, and self-control. 
So let's move yeah. towards growth and natural leadership skills. But now we touched touch two essential things. We said, mm -hmm. are leaders born? No, in my opinion, no. Are leaders having certain talents? Yes, of course. Some have, and for some leaders, it comes natural. Yeah. Where, how, where did you grow up? In, in, in what, in a good, in a positive environment or in a negative environment? Did your mom and dad tell you, you'll end up in prison or you'll become the greatest leader in the world? Did the math teacher tell you that, that you'll never learn mathematics? And you yeah. heard that five times and then you reasoned and said, okay, fine, I'm not going to learn mathematics, then I'm not going to put focus on that anymore. If you're told in your zero to seven eights that you'll end up in prison, most of the people sitting in prison today is people who were told that when they were born. So what's put into us? What 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 is our beliefs? I would if you go 10 years back, I was sitting as a homeless in the street. Mm -hmm. I would never have thought I've been traveling 88 countries and and and, and changed or transformed plus 3000 leaders all over the world in large organizations mm -hmm. and government. Right. I didn't I didn't believe, I didn't have the belief of that. Mm -hmm. But what did I do? I started exercising my brain. Like people okay. go to the fitness. I started to grow my brain. First of all, it only worked with 60%. That's another part. We're not going into that. But but what you're not aware of, what you're ignorant to, hmm. is the problem. If you're not raising conscious awareness of, nothing will happen. What happened? Did I lose you? Hello? Yes, yes, I'm here. It was just sneezing. <laughs> just sneezing. Okay. So, 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 what? Okay, fine. Um, I can take an example. I was working with, with one of the largest facility management cleaning companies in the name. Mm -hmm. And I, this was, a, you can say, where people are growing from the bottom and up. Okay. So, who get, who, 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 got the positions, the best performer. Yes, so why do they reward always the best performer and make and think that he will become the best leader as well? Do you think a best performer can always be a great leader? No, absolutely not. Unless, because the, what happens here with the best performer, you can take, take a sales department. You have 30 people in the sales department and you the, the, the leader is, is, is resigning. And then you take, oh, who am I going to, to, to um, approve? Who am I going to make leader? Oh, the best performer. What happens when you take the best sales guy and put him up as a leader? He might not perform very well because he might be very good at sales, but he might not be good he might not have the leadership qualities needed to lead people. So he will Absolutely. end up underperforming because that was not the position for him. Yeah, and what, what happens inside the guy? He gets frustrated. Yeah, and he loses self-confidence as well. You know, I have done similar kind of a thing several times in the past. Like one of my content writer was doing excellent. And uh, in a couple of years, I realized that She's doing so very well. So why not make her head of the department? Yes. I did that. She was and very well happened? pleased. What happened yeah. for you then? What happened for you? She was very pleased. Everybody congratulated her. There was a party. Obviously, the increment was amazing. And she was very happy. But what happened was, over a period of time, I realized that it was not the right decision. She was very good at her job. Yes. Like she said well, well, that. Yeah. But the new position brought new challenges for her and she was not able to mentor and lead the team the way she was expected to do because this was not meant perhaps for her. So her Absolutely. skills Absolutely. were amazing at what she was doing before. So I, I could have given her an increment as an appreciation of the performance rather than putting her in a position that was not meant for her where she couldn't do her best. Absolutely. What happens here, I've been working with 
now I will mention sales departments. You take the best sales guy and make him the leader of the team, 30 people. Okay. What's happening now, you're taking away the best sales guy in your sales department and making him yeah. a leader. Now you start losing because he was the best sales guy. And then half of the people may not like the guy. So they're retiring. Because there was competition and so on and they don't like him and so they resign. Now we got fifteen back. And the guy starts getting frustrated and make bad you can say choices and so on and so on. And in the end you realize that you made you made the wrong decision. So now you're going to fire him. And then the other half of the sales team, because they were loyal to the guy, say, wow, you got you fired him. Now we are leaving. So now you lost the whole sales department. Oh my god. <laughs> That's because you you don't realize that and many companies don't realize that the best performing guy may not have any leadership skills. Yeah. He may not create trust. He may not empower people he may not delegate because he's he, he's not there and that's why yeah. we talk about our leaders born our leaders having natural skills i didn't i didn't i just started growing my mind i just started reading a lot of books i just started engaging and listening and learning yeah so what we're talking that, about right now is the positional leaders, who they are, and how and why they do not succeed, and what could be done instead to have positional leaders to make an impact. Absolutely, because instead of taking the best sales guy in the team, or which you did, taking the best copywriter in your team and making her a leader, hmm. that was the biggest mistake. <laughs> if you didn't support her because she may be the best copywriter but by moving her out of that position you lost your best copyright i lost yeah so true so by moving people out of the position where they are best at performing you may mm -hmm. lose the qualities yes then you can say who do we who do we engage as leaders you can hire them from outside because mm -hmm. leaders got people skills yeah. for me i didn't got any conceptual skills i didn't got any people skills i was a okay. technical very good guy because nice. this was the way i survived for 45 years of my life yeah. i was the best at doing what i was doing but letting me become a leader of a bank mm -hmm. or a leader in a bank was not the best for the bank yeah unless they started you can say raising awareness of and started growing me and that's what yeah. we can do so right. how do we do that because leaders have or positional leaders have certain rights if they don't so your point is that positional leaders can grow into better leaders if they are okay. trained and provided and provided the right kind of direction and then the training absolutely if they, start and they need caring, to understand yeah so they need to understand what people development is and how they get into yeah. that yes and then this and then how do we understand that because as a positional leader we only have certain rights mm. rights to enforce rules rights yeah. to help people their job rights to use whatever power they be we've been granted right so this is our right but but if people don't want to follow we got a problem we got a problem, yeah. so, so, so what, what, what can we start doing? We can start make uh, getting into position or, or getting into a mission, which is building trust, loyalty, building relationships, yeah. expertise, judgment, consistency, and and that means that when you, what you, what comes out of your mouth comes out of your hands. I've been working with. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. If so we I have a question. Back, Yes. How do different? How do dif, how do you different different differentiate between a leader and a mentor? A leader. Uh, a leader is a coach, and, and and now we're touching something essential because coaching is in the in the, in the worldly understanding of coaching is totally misunderstood. 
so 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 we can go a lot deeper here a mentor is a person sharing his experience but his experience may not relate to you right. so when i'm sharing my experience it, it may not benefit you it benefited me but what is a piece of cake for me it could be very difficult for you yes so as a coach i need to go deep i need to to mm. to, to, to engage you i need you to, to have you to have inside out moments i need to to have you to have aha moments i need you to discover yourself how right. often do we give ourselves the space to discover ourselves in this busy, 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 busy work. <laughs> That's not very often. <laughs> no. So as a leader, you, you need to listen a lot. Yes. But but I would rather go back to, to, to the, the positional leader. I was working at, in, where, where I actually started the conversation, I was working in, 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 in this, you can say, a large uh, cleaning facility, faci fa facility management company. Mm. I was engaged, but I didn't have the leader's commitment, the headquarters commitment, accountability. When we want to transform culture, the leaders go first. Okay. We succeeded. We were working in a lot of different places. We succeeded with the employees because they were not connected to the headquarter. In the headquarter, you got four divisions. And they didn't need competition from the outside. They were competing with each other. They were destroying the company because they were four uh, divisions. They were four managers, directors, and they were all competing with each other instead of focusing on the competitors outside. Right. Is that working? No. No. It's not. And 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 and, and as I said. There was a lot of positional leaders. There was no trust in the organization. And, and again, I was hired by, by the, um, the top management. And, and I told them, if you want change in your organization, you need to go first. Okay. Which they oh. did. <laughs> Which they did. And, they, and, they and, must, and, yeah, of course, because they wouldn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> no, they were, they, were, they were focusing on themselves. They didn't give themselves away. So it ended up with one of these division leaders. I was I was at a large establishment of the of the defense command, mm -hmm. and he actually fired me, which he had he was not in position to do, and I didn't leave because I wanted to turn his negative this dissatisfaction because into positive energy. Mm -hmm. So he got so angry that 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 he raised his fist <laughs> and, and, and and wanted to hit me and and and, and fin uh -huh. finally we, we calmed down and we had a long talk and actually by listening and by asking that's where the coach stepping in i turned this very very negative person who was getting violent into, also into a positive energy And yeah. actually, at the defense command, somebody saw it, this happening, and they called the company security chief, which I was mm -hmm. working for. Mm -hmm. and, and and I had a when I came back, I had a conversation with him. And but we had solved the problem. So so the the, the CEO got birthday that day, and everybody in in this headquarter, three four hundred people knew that, and everybody needed to celebrate. And you know what? In front of everybody, I just hugged the guy. We, uh, one hour earlier, he wanted to hit me because yeah. this one. Now we have positional leadership. If you can't, if, if 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 you can't, if your words are not listened to, what can you do? You you can go in the last. You can go to 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 using your your physicals. So here mm. we were just hugging each other as because we had solved the problem. Yeah. I just turned him around and had the conversation, and now we were the best pals. Exactly. So you changed the whole situation. And that's what you can do as a leader. 
Mm. That's where you can where you can go in and, and label the, the negative emotion and, and engage, take action on this emotion. And you feed the self-coach. All of us have a self-coach inside of us. We also have a self-critic. But but the energy, the negative energy is raw. And if you guide it in the right, right direction, which is to mm. the self-coach and not to the self-critic, mm. things starting happening inside people. Yeah. And then you can start focusing on channeling the energy into action and that means finding the gaps what was the situation why did he fire me what was his dissatisfaction why did he go to physical violence yeah that was extreme yes and and when we have this conversation we can call it focus groups we can also have this in teams when we're sitting down and we can easily talk about negative, 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 and don't take action at all. But when we actually allow ourselves to sit down and talk about this, we have all the answers inside ourselves. And we start contributing and we start communicating, then we can actually grow. So, so a leader is taking responsibility of, of you can say ability to respond in a positive way with a positive impact mm. even may he may not be in in the circumstance the direction he needs to understand the people and reverse the negative energy into yeah. positivity uplifting unlocking what are we doing we are unlocking we're communicating we are communicating we are yeah. we're bridging the gaps yes we're putting words and, and, and on on the gaps mm. what is the dispatch this it could be in a team it could be with a single employee what is the dissatisfaction mm. and start okay. putting words on it and and, and start you, you know label these things and, and and talk about these things but do we dare did you dare to talk to your copywriter? Were you talking to your copywriter? Or did you fire her or what? what no, oh, come on. I did not fire her. I what worked towards supporting her so that she was able to improve her performance and wow. was able to guide people. Like, no, this is something that is my responsibility. I have to empower people. Wow. If I don't do that, if I don't Response help them. ability yes. to answer in a positive way. Exactly. What am I here for if I don't empower my team? Whoa. <laughs> and that's a leader. A people develop leader. The responsibility, the ability to respond in a positive way, no matter you've been a part of the circumstances, the situation or not. Hmm. You need to understand. Exactly. And, 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 and you also need to confront. You can say confront, that's a bad, is that a bad word? Is that negative hmm. motive? Exactly. So let's talk about what is people development and why does it matter? What is people development? I said empower people, train and them. That's empowerment. Help them learn. Yes. So, so, so first of all, you need to have the trust. Exactly. You, you need, need to have, have the process. permission to lead the people. Mm. But yes. if you only got, that means that means trust. That means responsibility. That's for me. I mean, I, I'm I'm an employee. I need to have the ability to to respond. One of the things I can choose in myself, no matter who mm. I am, is to have the ability to respond in a positive way. Yeah. If I have that ability, I'm sure that empowerment is working because I got the willpower. I'm standing on hope, you can say, willpower, action, and goals. So you listen to your people, where do they want to go? 
you go into a, a board meeting or a team uh, meeting and, and say we got a challenge we got an opportunity how do we solve that yeah. you're not giving your opinion you're not giving your direction you're not coming with your assumptions you're not saying we need to go this way and if you're not following me i got a whip <laughs> no you listen no. to the people exactly. and when you start encourage listening, them to bring solutions yes you want them to bring something to the table and yeah. they know their circumstances they know their clients they know what's going around in the team and when you open up for that what will happen when you take the conversation they will start thinking in more creative ways they will come up with ideas that are not exclusive just to you they will bring more to the table they will grow and help you grow you gave them the opportunity to become creative and you actually also in the moment they started becoming creative you rewarded their creativity is that right yes you didn't promote this as your own idea you said hey, we did it together there's a we here there's not a me the other part you can start doing here is a comment about empowerment because we said something related to this. So Faisal says you can empower people subject to they have uh, necessary prerequisites to delegate. Yes, what I what I said earlier was you can delegate, and many people think they delegate, mm -hmm. but the one word they miss here is delegation with authority. Okay. If you don't delegate with authority, it's like going to Eddie Salah. And Every time I go to Eddie Salat, I'm sitting with a person and every time she needs to do something, she needs to call the manager. He needs to put in his key word or he needs to give his permission. Mm. Is that right or wrong? Yes, it's true. it's true. So this is not delegation. You have a lot of people sitting out there, but they can't move unless they get the permission. <laughs> from the manager of the team and, and, and that's not delegation hmm. so so empowerment is giving the task and delegation is giving the task but if you want to be perfected that's what i've met many times is hmm. that do not delegate because it's easier for you to do it yourself yes. you don't trust the person you delegate to Is that right? But oh, that's no. going to that's going to keep the manager or the leader extremely busy and he will not be able to That will kill the manager the leader. <laughs> Seriously. Because he needs to do everything himself and he doesn't have the trust in his, his team. Yeah. So that's a disaster. So, so he's not delegating. And, and and some people think, oh, is each a instead of me telling people what to do it would be easier for me just to do it yeah we have a comment to... yes. yes sorry to cut you short Fleming we have a comment on people development so I would like to show Lilith says 12 years in people development believe me when it comes to corporate training in-house internal people development many companies do not take employee training seriously and lack of corporate culture and lack of entrepreneurship Lack of trust and motivation is there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can only agree with it. What I have observed uh, when I came here in 2018 was that when I engaged the, the, the training department, the training manager, they want lecturing. Yeah. I'm not lecturing. I'm interacting. I'm, 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 I want people to think. I want people to raise awareness of conscious quality thinking because this is the only way that you can change result yeah true uh, we know that that 83 percent of training is lost in four weeks so what she's talking about the lack of culture absolutely correct but it's all over the world we've got positional leaders and by mm. positional leaders they'll they are setting the direction and they are working on their assumptions and, and, and 
they drive their workers. They depend on their authority. They say I and not we. And this is bosses. This so is bosses, so yeah. if you don't open up for entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, not entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is the people who is creative and flexible and growing in the organization, yes. coming with their innovation. When we're focusing on Global Innovation Institute, we have a lack. We actually bring in a global mm -hmm. innovation body, mm -hmm. but it's not working that well because we have a positional leadership. We're not right. letting the creativity flourish. We're not having flexibility. What is flexibility? The ability to adapt to new situations and new environments. Yes. If you take maybe, of, if you're thinking of a rubber band, it has a rubber band. Yeah, it can stretch and come back and then stretch yes. and come back. How many options are there using a rubber band? Maybe. It depends on your creativity and your innovation. Exactly. <laughs> because it's flexible. So, so so if you think about a rubber band, it can be used in a thousand different ways. Mm. But do we as a leader set the direction? Yes. When we set the direction, we don't need the government anymore. We decide. And you have to follow our decision. Okay. We're not we're not giving we we're not giving the task and saying, go, here's the task, go solve it. And then you come back, I solved it. And then you say, This is rubbish. That's not flexibility. If you said, wow, that's great, that's good. This is wonderful. I never thought of that. Superb job. I need to ask you a question. Have you thought of this or and this? And then you will say, no. Okay. I think this is very two very important things. Could you please uh, revise the task and come back? And let's mm -hmm. focus on it again. Yeah. Is this another approach? This is a different, completely different approach. It allows more that, room to do things differently. Yes, that's where the flexibility and the creativity comes in and the innovation. So, so, so the people development is giving the opportunity for entrepreneurship, like mm -hmm. Lilith said. Like and she also said culture. Mm -hmm. So, so what is the culture in the company? Are we having a positive language? The ability to always respond in a positive way? Yeah. Or are we, are we under pressure? What happens when you put people under pressure? They do things, uh, sometimes they do things in a hurry. Like they don't uh, use their best selves to meet with the challenges under pressure. They do it out of panic, mostly. This is what I believe. They do it out of panic. And, and you put pressure on people. One of the things I, 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 I found that when you put pressure on people, when you put pressure on people, you'll see all their flaws. Yeah. Because you'll see their true self. No. <laughs> no. Who said? No. Fleming. If that isn't that right? No, I don't agree with this. So, people so if you put people under people, pressure, people might have better selves. Let me say, better selves and more skills and better qualities if they are allowed to exercise their better self, not just under pressure. Without Absolutely. pressure, I have Rata. seen people perform excellently without pressure. The best, NASA best found solutions that if you put people under pressure, you reduce their divergent thinking, which is the mm -hmm. creative. It's, it's, if you investigate the brain and you put fear into people, creativity is reduced. Yes. And innovation is reduced. So we can agree on that. Absolutely. So, so what is people development? leader of people development who, who what is their characteristics
because I think that we can easily, if we, I'm asking the questions, positional leader, do we know them? Do we know their characteristics? Yeah. Audience, do you know how? Audience and what at is the, the moment. Positional leader? Okay, let me show one comment. Audience at the moment is talking about we don't listen to the stories of success, we just listen to the word success. I don't understand that sentence. I don't understand. Just see people when they come for interview. Sayyid Muhammad Razila, I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Please explain. Could you please explain? The fear of failure keeps people in comfort zone. Absolutely right. It's easier yes. not doing anything because then you'll not fail. <laughs> if you don't do anything, you're not going to fail. The, the thing exactly. is that failure is, is no longer existing in, in my vocabulary. Hmm. Because life is a proce process of becoming. Yeah. For me, life is the process of becoming. I never fail. Exactly. I always learn. Do you think, Fleming, if we put people under pressure, they will be willing to come out of their comfort zone? I think no. I have seen people make more mistakes when they yeah. are under extreme pressure rather than perform very well. So I don't yeah. believe in the pressure thing in the first place. I don't Secondly, I feel that the, the, the fear of failure amplifies when people are under a lot of pressure because they have this fear that if they do wrong, they are gone. So they are yes. more likely to make mistakes and uh, perform poor instead of perform well. I know because I've, I've been here um, for a couple of years. I know it's sometimes easier to put a failure under the floor, under the carpet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never let it, never let it be exposed. Okay. And by doing that and keeping on doing the failure, it mm -hmm. grows. Okay. But if there is no freedom to let the failure be exposed, mm -hmm. because you are scared of getting fired. Yeah. I, I know people. Uh, in I have an example where 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 some money was lost in a company, and mm -hmm. and 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 the people instead of I don't know where the, the nobody knows where the money went, mm -hmm. but the three in, in, people involved, the one receiving the money and, and the, another person receiving the money and the third person who should have the money, which didn't have the money, they just put the they themselves took out of their pocket the amount uh. of money because they were they, they were too scared to go to the to the to the manager. That's fear That's in the fear. worst sentence. Exactly. So 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 having the environment where life is a process of becoming, where failure is no longer a word, either we either we win or we lose is no longer what's happening. Either we win or we learn is actually what's mm -hmm. happening. Exactly. When, where we're working together, we have highly performing teams with accountability, commitment, creating results, is the culture we want. But that's giving, the, that, that's where we take out the word failure and say learning. Yeah, replace failure with learning. In the moment we, we replace failure with learning, it, life becomes a lot easier for every, everybody. In the moment we communicate, mm -hmm. in the moment you can say a people development leader mm -hmm. do more than just get things done. A people development leader empower the people he delegate with the authority yeah. and ac accept the creativity yes and, and 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 we'll be the person saying wow this is fantastic because we're engaging in the positive way yeah. but have you uh, have you and have you thought not but hmm. and have you thought of then you become more and more creative yes and and the leader is, is, is the person giving himself away. So a leader is is a guy who's concerned about his own personal growth. When I'm concerned about my personal growth, I will engage. And learning is a two-way street. I mm -hmm. learn and you learn. 
in our relationship where I have delegated to you with authority and we are having conversations and talking, both of us are growing. Exactly. Because I get your points of view and you get my point of view. And then we have the best solution. Yeah, and we find common grounds and we are both in the process of growing. Yes, so here we are actually growing. Does my, you can say as a leader, does my growth has credibility? Am I growing? Do I have anything to offer other people? If I don't have anything to offer other people, I don't have creativity or credibility in my personal growth. Hmm. If I'm not changing and, hmm. and, and growing my getting out of my comfort zone, you can say that going to a position of leadership for your copywriter or for the best sales guy is getting out of comfort zone because you were super good at that. Now you have the courage to grow in another area. You need and to give you new grow in another area. And you need to admit that there are things you're not good at. Hmm. If you can't so do, you do think that, Yep. So do you think, Fleming, that uh, the positional leaders are not the right leaders? They are absolutely not the right leaders. Mm -hmm. And why is that so? Why do I say so? Because I have seen so many examples. They are not satisfied themselves and the organization is missing a lot. In the moment, mm -hmm. we are not creating or changing the culture in an organization, going from fear of failure to learning is the process. Mm. We can increase creativity with 300%. We can increase productivity with 45. Mm. We will reduce retention with 55%. That's what we have done in, in many organizations. We can so, even reduce sickness. We can also reduce presentism, which is going to work with headaches mm. and, and, and not being productive. Yeah. Yeah. We can increase sales with 37%. What happens if, if you're looking into an organization, who is, if you're a leader, who is your first customer? Right. Thank you. Who is your first customer? If I'm a leader in an organization, who is my first customer? Right. So, who is my first customer? Answer my question. I'm thinking, what to say? <laughs> <laughs> the leader's first customer is the employee. Yeah, but the leader's mm -hmm. first client customer is the employee. Right. The, another part of a leader is are people attracted to you because you're growing? <laughs> uh, do people see me growing and are they learning from me? Yeah. Am so I that changing? makes you more attractive. That makes me more attractive. <clears throat> I, the, another part is, am I successful in areas where you, I want to develop with others? I can't, if I'm not successful in those areas, how can I develop others? Exactly. So that becomes a question. So, so people so need to see your success. Am I successful in, in, in people development? Then I'm able to help others. And in the moment I'm here able to help others and others see that I'm helping them, they will start helping others. Yeah. Now we're starting changing, you can say, the culture in the organization. Are you investing in your employees? Time. Money is one thing, but time. Are you growing them? Definitely. Because and do without you have that, a te teachable way of life? Do you have a teachable way of life? Yes. Is that your lifestyle? Hmm. Are you willing to be vulnerable? I am. <laughs> that means that, that you can easily talk about your, you can say, learning processes? Yes. Because if you can do that, you're inviting your team members to do the same and that improves the way they can grow and the way you can help them grow.
one of the things we did was actually starting uh, in one organization sharing personal stories to be vulnerable with other people to share your learning processes to share your growth to share your i don't like the word mistakes uh, or failure but of course i uh, we are humans we're not perfect so we will have mistakes we will have failure can you share that Absolutely. with other people in in, in 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 the situation with the facility management company we were working with hmm. we didn't change the organization we didn't change or transform the headquarters we only did it in the single establishment at the single cleaning area where mm. we can say we're working with the defense command we were working in the infirmary we reduced the time of cleaning with a better result of cleaning with more happy people and people have the employees were we were increasing well-being and we were increasing their satisfaction but we didn't get the commitment from from the management we didn't get the commitment from 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 the headquarter we didn't start at the top and it, if we don't do that we can't succeed if we don't have accountability with the top the c-suite the boardroom and commitment from their side no change will appear no change okay we this brings us here what different leaders can actually make yeah but leaders are the role models Yes. like mentors they are mentors they are coaches we talked about that in the beginning but as coaches you never ever fix people you allow them because every emotion needs an action you allow them their piece of humanity hmm. but but you will label the negative emotion and you invite them to take action and start thinking about it and as a leader again you focus on the self coach in the single individual we all got self coaches as well as we got in a critical voice right. and 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 since the energy is raw you can you can direct it to positivity or to negativity mm, okay and, and 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 then you find the gaps so 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 the leader is a communicator who listen Mm. First of all, he listens. The first step is listening. Yes. And there are seven levels of listening. All right. Because you can say or you can sit tapping on your computer and somebody is speaking to you. Yes. Oh yes, no. Yes. Yes, no. You're not listening. Or you can listen to the emotions, the story behind the words. Mm. And that's actually where you're listening on on a high level where you understand what is it behind the word but you're not yeah. fixing it you're just inviting the person to 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 to, share. to get inside out yeah. um, aha moment reflection mm. oh uh, you didn't get the promotion i can understand that you are not satisfied no i'm betrayed and that's what's coming out of the employees yeah and then you can invite the self coach and then the person will realize maybe i've just been faking it all the time mm -hmm. but this is the person realizing that this is not you telling him there's a very very big difference there is a difference of course, of course. We work with an organization, a pharma company in, in, in Europe, where we actually were changing red numbers to black okay. numbers and reducing the work week to four. Okay. Just by transforming the whole culture and the organization. So replacing red with black was a what? part of transforming the culture? Yeah, from positional leadership, from managers to leaders. Okay. who actually listen creativity mm -hmm. innovation flexibility empowerment delegation with authority okay what, what, what we actually talked about here we got commitment from the top right. so engaging at the top the boardroom the c-suite mm -hmm. we asked the people to find out 
recognize what is it you can do and only you can do. What is it you have to do according to your assignment? The mm -hmm. rest you delegate. Right. But you delegate to the 20% because we use the Pareto principle. Mm -hmm. The 20% of the employees who is giving you 80% outcome. And by doing that from the top to the bottom of the organization, everybody was with their 20 percent can you follow what we're doing now yeah everybody was connecting on their level mm -hmm. by doing that we took away negativity excuses and blame because the leaders or the people were engaging with their 20 percent and 20 percent of the people who, who, where we had accountability we, we had best practice research. We had qualified peers. Okay. By that, we removed excuses and blame because I was with my 20% all the time. I empowered them. I delegated with authority and they did the same. So it was not like going into a salon and, and, and sitting with a person who always needed to get a permission. People could actually do do things yeah on their own yes and they can make decisions yeah and and when you make decisions when you have the responsibility and take the responsibility and you actually have the responsibility what does happen what happens inside of you you feel better you feel in control of things you feel that you can do things that you're responsible you're confident. you feel a satisfaction do you yeah in the moment you have doubt you would ask if, if if you're comfortable with your you can say authority and so on and so on then you can make the decision and you making the decision is totally different than asking for permission is that right yeah. yes true. you care about your job if you need to ask permission all the time do you care for the your work if you have to ask permission all the time? No, you become robotic, no? Like you're waiting for commands. <laughs> you become robotic and <laughs> you're waiting matter. for commands. Come on. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I do. And you're hardly conscious of uh, and you're not enjoying what you do in the first place. No. The other part we ask people to do is to 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 Find their return. What are they good at? What are they really good at? Where are? Where is it people are coming back to them and telling them that they did amazing? When, when you do that, you find out what you're really good at. You can say a little bit like finding your passion. Mm -hmm. What you're really good at doing. Are you working anymore? No. 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 <laughs> you're just doing what you're good at, what you're really good yeah. at doing. And, and, and when you do that, you get a lot of smiles back on you. Exactly. And what happens when you get smiles back on you? The, the whole thing, everything changes. Your, your own feelings for what you're doing and the people you are with changes once you are following your passion. Everything changes. Everything changes for you. You start getting the reward now, which is emotional, mental, and spiritual energy. And that's actually how we change this organization from red numbers, five weekday work mm -hmm. to four and black numbers. And everybody mm -hmm. was smiling because they did what they were good at doing and they get the reward and they ask, what is it I have to do according to my job description? Mm. And only okay. I can do. And the rest was delegated with empowerment and authority, creativity, mm. flexibility, innovation. You could solve the task, the assignment on the spot. You had to the authority. The and this is a totally different situation. And in the moment you had doubt, you would just ask the colleague. 
and he would help you or step in or you would ask your leader and he would help you step in and you were growing and this was learning processes just a travel of becoming and, and, and this is not in, in a position of leadership you have a carrot and a stick In a position of leadership, you always have a punishment. In a position of leadership, you can you can say that there's no loyalty and no trust. Uh, there is hardly any loyalty. Yeah. That's true. Any questions? Uh, we are not getting any questions at the moment, but what are we going to talk about in the next episode? What's what coming like up? What? Let's let's ask people. So, my dear friends, since you're watching us, we want to know what you want to discuss with us in the next episode. Please drop in your uh, your favorite topics, the points you want to discuss in the comments, and then we will decide the theme for the next episode. So we are looking to get your responses now. Give us your comments and let us know what you want us to discuss in the next episode of the Business Excellence Show. Yes, uh, we, 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 we did go deeper in people development. How do you do that? But then I would say we, 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 to go deeper into that, it, okay. would, it would more be something like, you know, um, <laughs> easier to do uh, where we got the feedback from the audience because uh, I, I can't I can't guess what's happening in the audience head mm. as well no. as little as you can so 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 now we actually if we want to go deeper in people development it could be something like 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 doing a workshop but but we can't do a workshop but we cannot here. do a workshop live right for workshop we need to be all together in a place so that comes later we have a workshop coming up on 16th of january which yeah. is related to passion passion how you can discover your passion you Find can join us in you can join us at more cafe in roda al Maruj or al Maruj complex this is what it is called at 3 p.m on 16th of january to do the workshop and discover your passion Okay, we have one topic yeah. suggestion from one of our friends. Yeah. Shafakat Rasul says we need to run the next episode on how a student and job professional switch and start their startup. How to become an entrepreneur. <laughs> That's yeah, what it means. Yeah. Yes. So how do we become an entrepreneur? No, what is the this, is, this is something we will do next then. Absolutely. But one of the things you need to have is courage. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Let go of your fears and limitations. Yes. And the same is in the process of management to leadership or positional to, to, to people development. That is courage. Good. Thank you for your time. And Thank Happy you. New Year. Yes, Happy New Year, everybody. We will discuss entrepreneurship next time. And we will definitely have more input from you. So join us next week on Tuesday if, if, for if another episode. If you have episode. any questions, just line them up. Um, I think we can, we can uh, I don't know if we can make something where people can actually put up their questions so we can be more prepared. OK. We can have a post on LinkedIn and get some insights from them. Good. Thank you. That, Happy cool. New Year. Happy New Year and have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.